The ambassador emphasized that the relationship has deepened over the years, particularly in cultural and environmental arenas. The Franco-Namibian Cultural Center remains a key partnership where Namibia provides the infrastructure in France, the cultural content, promoting exchanges between the two nations, Kauhamoub stated. On climate action, the ambassador mentioned France's ongoing support through the Global Climate Fund and a bilateral memorandum of understanding between the French Development Agency and Namibia's Environmental Investment Fund. We have, uh, since in the last four years, um, collaborated a lot more closer around issues of decarbonization after the Paris Agreement on climate change. A lot of the French resources reach our Environment Investment Fund through the Global Climate Fund facility, which is headquartered um, in South Korea. And Namibia serves on the Global Climate Fund board. Um, and, in, and also bilaterally, there is um, the French Development Agency and EIF have now an MOU in place. And in that way, our decarbonization agenda, uh, uh, conservation uh, efforts that are being driven and financing of uh, climate resistance efforts for Namibia are coming from France um, in, a, in a big way, definitely in the last, last four years. He also mentioned that Namibia's growing partnership with French companies exploring green energy solutions and advanced technologies, as well as ongoing discussions about new framework agreements that will further define key areas of cooperation. Al Hamoub highlighted a burgeoning relationship with France's overseas territory the reunion island where Namibian beef and wood pellets for biomass energy are now in demand. Another thing that's also important to highlight is, uh, is a new relationship that we are forging with one of France's overseas territories, the reunion island. I have just returned this week from there. And, and that relationship, because the reunion island is in the Indian Ocean, it's just uh, off the coast of uh, Mauritius and Madagascar nearby. Um, so it, because it's in the southern hemisphere, it seems logical that as an overseas territory that's uh, semi-autonomous, uh, Namibia will have to have some sort of relationship around tourism promotion. And uh, what's also important is some of our premium products, such as Namibian beef, can be exported to that island of 800,000 uh, residents. Um, we've seen that the island at the present only produces, uh, what they consume by way of beef is only 22% of, of beef that's consumed that is locally produced. So there's a, there's a market uh, for us to export Namibian beef. It's, it's premium product and therefore it will catch a premium price. I, I could guess that it will be anything from 50 euros per kilo, kilogram upwards.